Hey y'all. Okay, so I wanted to talk about um, people who inspect fruit. One of these days, I'm going to like sit down with, with the with the Word of God and like you know bring out scriptures. But you guys are welcome to test everything that I say and look up everything that I say in the Word. And if you have any questions or if you have any comments, you know you're welcome to welcome to that or whatever and I don't mind providing um, scriptures for you but um, it's funny how our own pride can blind us of our need of Jesus's grace and the blood even after we have believed and God, I'm going to be honest. I, I wish that God would have made the word a little bit more clear, you know, so we wouldn't have these issues. But I do think that there's a reason, there's a reason why, you know, God wrote the word the way he wrote the word. But either way, um, either way, um, there are people out here who, and you know, I'm learning to not be so critical of them because I was that person too. And God showed me grace. So I know that if he showed me grace, then I know that there's grace for them as well. But um, there are people who feel like, you know, if you don't strive or if you aren't striving or if you you know, aren't living right, then you couldn't possibly be saved. Or if you participate in certain behaviors, you couldn't possibly be saved. And a lot of us, and I want you guys to go look at Renee Rowland. Renee Rowland, she explains salvation so great. I love her. Um, but, um, We forget or we don't understand the difference between salvation and then the sanctification process after salvation. So you'll have, you, have, you, have, you have the sanctification uh, eternally, which is all God, which is what he's done by the spirit. And then, then you have the sanctification process in the flesh. So for instance, um, right now, where I am in Christ is um, I am righteous. I am perfect in the eyes of the Lord because of the blood. Spiritually. Now, in my flesh, am I perfect? No, not at all. In my flesh, in this body, while on this earth, I am very much a carnal person. Very much carnal very much someone who you know still struggles or and still sins willfully you know at certain times but God is sanctifying me meaning circumcising um I shouldn't say that but meaning changing my heart uh daily while here on this earth and as time, as time has progressed ever since I have been saved, my behavior has changed. So there are certain things I just don't participate in anymore because of the, the, the working of the Holy Spirit in my life. There are things that I don't want to do anymore because of the working of the Holy Spirit in my life. But there are still some things that I still do that aren't okay. And that is a sin. And there are still things that I do willfully. And guess what? Because of the blood, because of God's grace, because of God's love, because of my relationship with him, I have grown to rely on his faithfulness and not mine. Just, to, just this morning I was talking to God and I said, God, I can't wait until I am free 
when it comes to um, my desire to um, deal with a particular person because um, it's been not, it's been it hasn't been good for me it's been just been bondage for me so I see something like Paul said I see something in myself which is I keep on doing certain things that I know isn't good and I keep on doing it and I don't want to do it but I do do it and so the thing that gives me peace and the thing that gives me hope for this particular situation is well look at everything that God has delivered me from and look at how God has been faithful in the past to deliver me from certain things and so this morning after I said that to the Lord the thought came to my mind that just like you did it back then God how you delivered me from a certain situation that I wanted to get out of, but I kept going back to it. I'm in the same situation where I am in now, where I want to get out of it, but I keep going back to it. I know you're going to get me out of this. I know you're going to get me out of this particular situation again. I know you're going to, you're going to help me again. I know you're going to save me again. I know you're going to free me again. I have that hope. See, we walk by faith, not by sight. Because if, if you walk by sight, you will always be discouraged by your unfaithfulness. You will continually be discouraged by your unfaithfulness. But if you look to Christ, you keep your eyes steady on Christ, then you'll always have hope to keep moving forward. See, God's grace has empowered me. And, and God telling me who I am God helping me to know who I am, which is a child of God, which is a daughter of, of a king, which is someone that he will never throw away, which is someone that he will keep to the end, which is someone that he delights himself in me, which is someone that loves me. All these things that I know through time because God has been faithful and he has been persistent in making sure that my child knows that I love her. That is what has helped me to change. And so many of us will tell people, if you don't act right after you have believed, you're going to hell. And what ends up happening is that people continue to sin anyways. <laughs> people rebel anyways. Or they continue to sin and then they cover it up and act like they're righteous. So you have a lot of people in the church walking around trying to cover up their own sins, put on their nice suit, their nice dress, and appear to be righteous. Just like Adam and Eve, that's exactly what they did. Because they felt shameful, they tried to cover themselves up instead of relying on God's covering instead of relying on God's goodness instead of relying on God's love for them they forgot even after Adam and Eve sinned who came looking for them they didn't they didn't go looking for God God came down and came looking for them so what does that tell me what does that what, what should that tell you that God is faithful and God God's it's God's nature to make sure that his creation knows that he loves them. Who else is going to do it? Just like a mother and a father is responsible for their child, God is responsible for us. And he's responsible in teaching us and helping us. That's his job. That's his nature. That's who he is. And a lot of people are, are, are out here who don't know their father, who don't know their creator, who don't know the nature of their God. And it's sad. And I used to, and I still can get angry about this, but I try not to get, you know, unrighteously angry anymore because I have to understand that 
a lot of folks, they just are ignorant. And we want to see fruit. We want to see behavior, behavioral change. And we want to see righteous living. And I think that that's a good thing. So I do think that a part of that comes from the heart of God. God wants us to change. God wants us to, you know, live uh, an abundant life. But if it's coming from a perverted place and you just want to see it so you can make sure that they're righteous in your eyes and not based purely based upon the reason why I want to see behavioral change and I want to see your fruit is because I want you to prosper in life. I want you to live this life abundantly. I don't want you to go back to that, you know, that dude that's not treating you right. I don't want you to go back to that woman that's not treating you right. I don't want you to go back to the crack pipe. I don't want you to go back to smoking it and, and dealing and, 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 and stripping and, and, and lying and fornicating and I don't want you to do that because you're not living your life abundantly here. I desire for you to live life abundantly and free. But we want to see fruit because we want to make sure that, oh, you're actually saved. Oh, you're actually keeping the law. And our hearts are wicked instead of our hearts being pure in the fact that I want to see my brother and sister in Christ living free. And I think if you had that approach and that mindset, then you could be, you could have a better, uh, you, you, could, you could better help them and have a better posture towards them instead of, hmm, I don't see any fruit. It's not a way to be. That's not the way to be. That's not the way to be. So anyways, <clears throat> I love you guys and um, that's all I'm going to say about that. I hope you guys have a good, good day. I'm on my way to work, so now keep me in your prayers. All right, bye.